Hi, I'm Sue from Garden Moxie. Today I wanted to show you how I prune my forest pansy redbud trees. I have five redbud trees that I planted along the side of my garden, and they cover the walkway that leads to my mother-in-law's house. This year, a few of the branches are hanging kind of low, so you need to duck when you walk on the path. I want to remove these lower branches so I can walk on the path without bumping into them. I'm also going to be removing any dead branches that I see while I'm doing my pruning. The tools I typically use to prune trees and shrubs are a pair of sharp loppers and a handsaw. The important thing is to make sure that you're using sharp tools. Pruning is pretty straightforward. The branches I'm removing are all below an inch in diameter. I typically use a two cut method for branches that are this small. The first cut is made a few inches away from the crotch of the branch. This removes the weight of the branch so that you don't tear the bark when you make the final cut. The first cut I make is used to remove the bulk of the weight of the branch, but I leave a short stub. The second cut will be my final cut. Trees typically form ridges on the tops and bottoms of branches where they attach to the trunk. This area is called the branch collar. You want to be careful not to damage the branch collar. You never want to cut flush to the trunk of the tree. You'll make a cut at an angle, and this will encourage water to run off, and you'll also be careful to avoid cutting the collar. This will help the tree create a smaller wound. The other thing that you want to avoid is leaving any stubs. Stubs will eventually die back, and they can leave an area where disease can enter the tree. This cut I'm about to show you is where I ran into a big problem. In hindsight, the fact that I tore the branch after the first cut should have made me realize that the bark on the red buds is a bit fragile. I've noticed this when I've trimmed the trees before. Unfortunately, I also tore the bark after I made my final cut. This is the last thing you want to do when you're pruning. This type of bark tear leaves the tree susceptible to disease and it's going to be much more difficult for the wound to heal. This is not what you're supposed to do. If I had to make this cut again using my handsaw, I would use a three-step cutting method to avoid tearing the bark. And this is what I'm going to be sure to use in the future. Step one, you make a cut on the underside of the branch at least a third of the diameter deep. Then you make your second cut one to three inches further away from the crotch compared to the first cut. The final cut will be made at an angle. Here's a look at the trees after I finish pruning. I can walk on the path now without bumping into the branches and all the dead branches have been removed. I hope you found this video helpful. Although I wish I hadn't have torn the bark on that branch, I wanted to share that mistake with you so that you could learn from it too. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching.